For the past few weeks, the apartment complex I've been living in has been spraying these bushes with a lot of pesticides. And it seems like they've been using too much because we found some dead squirrels along these bushes and... While they've stopped using as much pesticides, I'm worried that other wildlife is going to get into them in the meantime. So I thought we would just take matters into our own hands and live trap them. Hello everyone, this is Bridger and today we're going to be talking about trapping. Now, most people have heard about common traps like bear traps and mouse traps, but today we're going to be looking at a live trap, and the difference is, this is a trap that causes no harm to the animal and can relocate the animal anywhere else. And the trap that we're going to be using today is a pressure plate trap. The trap itself is pretty easy to set, you just gotta bring this panel up, take this linkage back here and set it forward and the trap is ready to go. And how it's going to trap them is you just have to bait back here, the animal will walk up onto this pressure plate, and it'll trap it. So the bait you go with is going to depend on the animal. And today we're looking at squirrels, so really we just need something that is going to get their interest, which most of the time something like trail mix will work. Uh, there are some foods you want to avoid for bait, so those things with high preservatives, for example, like chocolate, may not be the best for the wildlife. Some animals actually don't have enough weight to set this off sometimes, so you can also add a ceramic bowl filled with your bait to help with that if the animals are too small. However, if you're looking for things more specific for specific animals, you can always go to montanafishinggame.gov and they have entire PDFs on each individual animal you can trap in there. So now that we have our bait and trap, we are ready to go. So right here we have the bushes in question with the pesticides, and here we have a nice little spot. Let's get some back there, so they have to go over the pressure plate to get to it. Just like that, our trap is set. One subject I wanted to touch upon while we wait for our trap is that of pets and traps, because unfortunately it is an issue. This is due to lax trapping regulations, including where you can put your traps within the state. In other words, you need to be mindful of where you put your traps for your own and your neighbor's companions. This is a huge con for kill traps, as then you have to be that guy to go tell your neighbor that their pet is stuck in one of your traps, and you really don't want that on your conscience. Even if your area doesn't have pets like mine, it's important to always constantly check your traps throughout the day and even night. Hey guys, uh, I just got up from a nap. I heard something not so friendly outside. I think her trap might have been set off, but uh, I don't know what's out there. Now, the important thing to know is, if you hear something outside, it might not necessarily be trapped. It might just be around the area, as well as, if you caught a smaller critter, um, its mom might be around, so always be careful. And, uh... Oh, okay. I, th I think he's in here. I think we're safe. All right, fellows. Looks like we got a live one. Uh, no squirrel, but uh, it's a live one nonetheless. So in this situation, when the animal is a little bit more dangerous, uh, you definitely want to respect the animal. And one of the things you can do is uh, put a towel over the cage because it'll make it feel safer, like it's in a burrow. Jesus. This is one of the big cons when it comes to live trapping, is that sometimes you get not-so-friendly animals with not-so-friendly attitudes. The next order of business is to find a place to relocate this guy, because it can't just be in any old place. we got to make sure it's the correct ecosystem. So, we're going to hop online, and if we can't find anything there, we can just contact Fish and Game directly, and they should be able to help us out. <sighs> 
Here we are, the beautiful park, Gallatin Valley. This is uh, the area we're going to be letting our friend go in. Hopefully he learned a lesson about going into bushes too close to people and bushes that have pesticides in them. That or he'll just go straight back to the bushes and may die, but you know what they say, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Here we found some nice foliage for our mutual friend to escape off into. Alright, we got our cage set up, headed straight into that tall grass, send him right back home. Alright little guy, we're almost out of here. This is a little hard to open with just one hand, actually, excuse me, for one second here. Ready to go. Uh. Alright. See him take off. Where is he? Oh. Must have ran off. Shoot, I missed him. Oh well. Well guys, I think that's a successful live catch. Thank you for tuning in.